male loneliness and how to fix it. Shoe on head. Put this out on uh, a little bit after International Women's Day, I guess. Cool. Female loneliness and how to fix it. Do I, I'm going to make a prediction right now. It's going to have something to do with satisfying the uh, traditional Catholic male desires. Who knows, though? Maybe it'll be a good video. Let's go. Despite popular belief on Reddit, I love women. And despite popular belief on 4chan, I am a woman. And as I am filming this, it is currently International Women's Day. So happy International Women's Day to all 7.3 of you. We've talked quite a bit about male loneliness on this channel, but we haven't really touched on female loneliness, which although technically not as severe yet, is unfortunately a real and rapidly growing trend. My uh, last time she did a loneliness video, uh, she didn't really touch on the the fact that it's not like a gendered phenomenon and the the males that are lonely that are bringing up male loneliness, right? Those people are actually just incels, and they're just upset that they're not having sex and or having girlfriends, uh, and also friendships because they're they're miserable people that nobody likes, you know. Everybody else is experiencing regular loneliness and or modern types of loneliness, uh, which include you know atomization and uh, financial stress, which leads to uh, doing le fewer things outside and with your friends and shit, so not socializing as much. Modern world does not seem to have a solution to this. All modern <laughs> dating advice is just garbage. The future seems all, bleak. All so of maybe it? we have to look in the past. All right, modern dating advice from Jake. Be your actual self, all right? Not the person you are trying to put forward, but the person that you are. Which means that you have to make peace with yourself in some way. You have to be 100% peaceful, all right? I'm also a little hypocritical here. I don't like 100% of me, okay? But that's okay. You gotta like enough of you. You just gotta, you don't have to like you. You just have to understand who you are. You can ch make, <laughs> wash your ass is absolutely part of it. Take care of yourself, like hygiene-wise, but really, I mean, genuinely, it's about taking care of yourself in general. Like, being able to appreciate any aspect of yourself is definitely going to help. Um, but really, if you know who you are, which means you know what you want in a partner, what you want for yourself, what you want in your environment when you are when you have a partner, or uh, if you ever do, um, you know, there's lots that goes into it, but you have, like, 20 chickens, right. And also, there's, you know, I think another pernicious thing, by the way, is while we don't all need to have, like, you you don't need a relationship. Like, if you want one, that's great, and you can pursue that. But to, to feel pressured by other people's desires for your life is a mistake. So whatever you actually want. Um, some of the things we want are things that we think we need because society is trying to push that on us, right? Kids is often one of these things, getting married way too early, stuff like that. But, like, you know, take the time to understand what you want and be real with yourself. Is it is this – would I rather A or B knowing that I have to do C? And it's like, I don't know, maybe. Does that make sense? Like, sometimes you got to make quality judgments. Anyway, that's my dating advice. Be yourself and know what you want. Is she going to talk shit about the lady on Twitter? Building a house with her dad and bro- I don't know. No, I don't know. I didn't see that. In this video, we're going to talk a bit about modern female loneliness. And then we're going to have some fun looking at some dating advice from the 1950s to see if we can find a solution there. Oh, wow. The 1950s. Because what worked for our grandmothers surely will work for us. Right? Back in the day when- <laughs> Go- <laughs> people would still go to everyone acts like you have to be in a relationship to be happy but there's a happiness to being alone and working on yourself and your own goals Ex absolutely malt shops and diners instead of femboy hooters women dated men for more than just their wallets which reminds me before we get into this video let's quickly get into today's sponsor we're doing sponsorships Oh my god, what is wrong with this video? Why doesn't it want to play? There we go, thank you. You, the viewer. It's okay, we're skipping this anyway. The YouTube will never know this. Anything that happens right now is our secret chat. Not skipping the ad. Haha, <laughs> thanks for not skipping the ad. Nice. Whoops. The number of...
single women in the U.S. is expected to increase 1.2% every year from 2008 to 2030, compared to a 0.8% increase in the overall population. This will result in 45% of women between the ages of 25 and 44 who will be single and childless by 2030. Cool. I'm into that. Because that's their choice, right? It sounds like it's their choice. Yeah, absolutely. I am for this. <laughs> Nothing wrong with this at all. Uh, did you know that, that means 55% of women between the ages of 25 and 44 will be married and with child? Or have children? Did you know that that means 55%? Because that's how math works. There are studies showing single, child-free women are the happiest. Did you know? Go. Go. <laughs> did you know that there are also studies that show marriage is only beneficial for men? Like, heterosexual marriage, of course. Uh, you naffle! Holy shit, conservatives are boring. Rail against change for your entire life. It's going to happen anyway. Way to define a wasted experience. Yep. Are women not getting married because they don't want to? Eh, it's a combination of things. I would say that there is definitely a portion of women that don't want to get married, at least between some of these ages, um, you know, to pursue whatever the fuck they want to. I don't think that they need to have... Uh, the actual marriage like some people don't really pursue marriage as a, a, a legal bind um, there are definitely people who are just not finding quality partners for sure because men suck um, that doesn't mean every woman doesn't suck but you know happens for sure uh, also it's a money thing weddings are fucking expensive dude we keep kicking the can down the road on ours because we're like well we want to do stuff with the house where we live every day like Throwing a big party sounds like lots of fun, and we're, we talk about it a lot, and we're excited for it, but man, wedding, weddings are fucking pricey, man. Now, according to some people, this is apparently a good thing. More women being single and childless mm -hmm. is a good thing. Yeah, it's a good thing if they want that, yeah. Yes. Society is progressing. Women no longer have to be chained up and turned into breeding cows. 1984. Apparently, single women spend... 1984? What? Dude, talking with your husband has broadened your fucking brain. Like, you did not have some of these takes a while back. It's actually crazy to see what are essentially his opinions coming out of your mouth right now. <laughs> what? <laughs> single women. And more than the average family on travel, shopping, makeup, skincare, etc. So, yeah. of course, some economists will twist this into a positive thing it's not it's not not positive it's it's neutral it matter it's exactly Go. neutral in an ideal world i don't have a, a a number to give you for the number of people that want to have kids and families and shit like that it's exactly the number it should be if people are able to choose that life most people choose to have a family uh well they don't choose it they a lot of people are thrust into having that because they don't have sex ed Capitalism be like, have hey, babies, we need wage slaves for the meat grinder. No, we won't give you more money. Why you no make babies? Right. Like, I think a lot of people would pursue families if they felt better about the country. Like, or the world in general. But I'm not an economist. I'm your average, humble, working class American YouTuber. Slaving over a hot laptop, producing absolutely nothing of value to society. And I don't think this is a good thing. I think this is proof things are going very wrong. And if you look at the stats about how so many women are on antidepressants and how the female suicide rate has been increasing, there may be a connection here. Friendship, family, and sexual intimacy are a big part of the hierarchy of needs. And I don't think women are <laughs> happier being alone and single. I just think women might be better at coping with being alone and single. Why, why is being alone and single something to cope with? Like, being single certainly doesn't mean you don't have, like, relationships or anything. It means you're not married. So, explain to me why these women have higher rates of happiness. You know? What's that about? At least for a little while. I just had, like, the craziest, saddest thought. Um, I'm in the stage of life where I'm watching all my friends get married and... 
pet babies. When you talk about the subject, a lot of men will point out that these women could easily get any man to sleep with. And I'm sure they know that. But sex uh -huh. isn't the only thing people are looking for. Uh -huh. As I said in the- Are we gonna talk about how men are bad? Let's go. Male loneliness video. We can talk about how men are not meeting expectations or needs for their partners and women. It would be relatively easy for a lot of these incels to just get laid, hire a hooker, and it would take the average woman like five minutes to find a man to sleep with. Just walk the f outside. But casual sex isn't the solution to loneliness. It's a band-aid. It's a way to fill your void with cum. Try and Why is that so cringe? I thought she had kids in her audience. Uh, you can have you can have meaningful relationships without sex. You can have uh, meaningless relationships with sex. Uh, I mean, it's it's all it's all different. I guess I agree that just sex is not a substitution for like interact like interaction with a human being in a in a satisfying way and having like some core, kind of like whether it's romantic or. Uh, just sexual or uh, platonic? I don't even know. Uh, some kind of some kind of bond, I guess. Uh, sex is fun. I mean, I don't feel like you. I don't feel like people have sex without talking at all. Maybe I'm weird. I just talk. All the effort to look like a '50s housewife is clashing with the edgy jokes. Yeah, I don't know. To find someone to love, to marry, to have a family with nowadays, it is incredibly difficult for both genders in this climate today. And it seems like nowadays the only for both genders acceptable way to do so is to swipe right. We live in an increasingly atomized, lonely society thanks to a nasty combination of social media, technology, hookup culture, lack of community, lack of friends, lack of purpose, lack of money, late stage capitalism, neoliberalism, and so- uh, I agree with all of that, except you left out, you left out like, you, you say neoliberalism last, right, of course. There is a, there is a, like a white, white nationalist, uh, fascist sect of uh, psychos that continue to inhibit our ability to progress that should go in this spot right down here. I agree, ne neoliberals are bad. And so many other things. And men are being told to, well, nothing. You're on your own. Pull yourself up by your bootstraps. Dude, every time I give specific prescriptions to men on how to be, like amend this in their in their lives, they always tell me I'm telling them to do bootstraps. And it's just crazy. That is not what's being said to any of these people. What is being said is that they need to be able, like, work on yourself is and have community with other men is not bootstraps, okay? Bootstraps is, is like, definitely isolation. We are talking about communally, manhood, men treating themselves and each other in better ways, okay? The cishet men out here are not healthy, okay? <laughs> Literally just get a hobby. One hobby would be great. Having... Having a passion would be nice, sure, but you can't just make yourself want to do anything. I don't know. I'm I'm such a self. I'm such a catalyst for everything all the time. I don't know how other people aren't also the person who puts a lot of energy into stuff. I was like this when I was working eighty hours a week, man. The straights are not okay. I don't know. I always, I. <laughs> I don't know how to give you the energy to be the person you are, but I think a lot of it has to do with contentedness toward yourself. And that is not bootstraps, okay? That is like, you need to talk with other people. You need to lean on other people. You need probably therapy. You need you need good friends. You need, you know, there's lots of stuff to try to, to, try to get. Therapy is not for everyone. Yeah, I mean, therapy should be for everyone, but depends on the therapist. They could, did you know your therapist is a normal human being and could just be a fucking wacko? So you gotta have a good one. It's your fault. You built the world after all, and are increasingly turning to the few people who at least 
pretend to give a shit, who just wind up selling them poison that ultimately hurts them in the end. Like hollow materialism, eternal one-night stands, and <laughs> vasectomies. Quickest path to become a high-value man. Do not ever do not get married. Avoid family creation. Vasectomy in your twenties. Wait, what's wrong with vasectomies? I don't know who this rational male fella is. High value. You can get a vasectomy if you want. <laughs> yeah, in case you were wondering, that's what the red pill has been up to: telling their audience uh -huh. to just forget marriage and neuter themselves. Vasectomy till I find the right woman. I definitely think the right wing should get vasectomies. Why is that? Male cheating vasectomies having multiple wives trigger trad con. So I haven't seen Pearl. Pearl is now going against some of the men. Hmm, this is interesting. The right wing is in such disarray right now they, because they don't know what they believe in anymore. Like they actually don't have a unified idea of what they want. Like I literally have a video here. We're not going to watch this today. We'll probably watch it next time. Should Christians vote for Trump by the Daily Wire? Like, they're having conversations about, I don't know, <laughs> I don't even know what my politics are. He's morally detestable, but should I vote for him? And now they're, like, telling young Republicans to get vasectomies, which I am here for. Definitely get vasectomies. While women, in turn, are also being sold a very similar poison. About how it's good to be single, it's empowering. You don't need no man. Get on the pill, sleep around, climb the corporate ladder, and don't worry, baby, we'll freeze your eggs for you. But is this good advice for women? We'll freeze your eggs for you? Do you think, do you think that the advice to women right now is to climb the corporate ladder? Do you think that's what anyone's saying? I feel like I feel like people are definitely anti corporation. Maybe I'm just a big lefty loser, man. I feel like I feel like women in women's spaces are not talking about Oh yeah, girl. Let's let's go become fucking CEOs. <laughs> Freudian capitalist -like. Or have we girl bossed a little too close to the sun? A huh. study on date psychology recently revealed that 48% of men 26 to 40 years old have not approached women in the past year. What's approaching? Approach the church for above for single men. About half of single men have not approached a woman in person within the past year. In person, this is true for each group, but it does vary. For example, fifty-nine percent of men within eighteen twenty-five Zoomers have not approached someone in the past year. Approached. What does that mean? Millennials are approaching more, consistent with the hypothesis of a generational shift in a risk aversion. Zoomers being more risk averse. Zoomers are risk averse. A substantial percentage of all men have not approached anyone within the past month. What is approached? Like flirting? Or like in person trying to be like, hey, I saw you from across the food court and I was wondering, can I get your number? Are they risk averse or are they traumatized? Hmm. Literal pickup shit? Like, yeah, I guess I, I just talk to people in real life. I'm not trying to date random people that I walk around and see. Hey baby, mind if I approach you? Mm, yeah. Oh yeah. And 60% of men aged 18 to 25 said they haven't. In the entire data set, 30% of men <clears throat> said they never approached a woman in person before ever. This also What is approached? I it must mean in person flirting. Like this, all 29% of these people could could sext. You know what I mean? This is very hetero. You don't say. This also might be because, like I said, everything that isn't swiping. So do you, yeah, we're all those straight? <laughs> right on a dating app nowadays is considered creepy. Don't approach women at the bar. Don't approach women at the gym. Don't approach women at coffee shops. Don't approach women at work. So these numbers are the minority of people. 29% of men said they never approached a woman in person before. A 71% is doing it. It's normal. It's normal to approach. What, man? Can you do math? Isn't swiping right on a That's 29% of single men, too. Right. Thought this woman was about women, though? Well, yeah, so the data suggests that normal behavior is taking place. <laughs> Dating app nowadays is considered... Creepy. 
Don't approach women at the bar. Don't approach women at the gym. Don't approach women at coffee shops. Don't approach women at work. Do you want to be approached at the gym or the coffee shop? The bar is definitely not true. The bar, depending on the bar, of course, the bar is definitely a place where people hook up. Not like the grill and bar <laughs> or the bar and grill. Maybe. Get an app. Get a drink. But I'm just saying, like, what is what is this approach shit? I don't know. Don't approach women at the mall. Don't approach women. We live in HR world. Do we? And it turns out a lot of women don't like HR world. <laughs> What's HR world? Shoe on head? <laughs> What's HR world mean? Can you give me an example of what HR world is? No, I know what she means. Wampa. Human resource. I know what, he, I mean, I know what HR stands for. <laughs> what? The concept of HR world. What does that mean to you? <laughs> You're saying... I mean, I... I, I Obviously. Um... You're going to get me too if you flirt with a woman. Did you know that that's not true? Okay. All right. Guide to flirting. Are you ready? Have some rapport first. Ready? Don't flirt with a full-ass stranger. Okay? It's weird. It's unwelcome. Especially at places that don't welcome. The only place you can flirt with full-on strangers is someone that you're having a conversation with in a natural way. Right? Or you're at a bar or speed dating. You know, you're already in a, a situation where that might happen. Club, whatever. Minute Maid Park or whatever. <laughs> Fucking the carnival. Definitely people go to the carnival. It's a little inside joke for chat. Every time I see videos of women crying about not being approached by men or being lonely, the comments and replies are always full of men like, Enjoy your cats. This is what you asked for. This is the world you wanted, ladies. Do you find the rampant misogyny a problem, June? Please discuss. But was it? Not every woman is the blue-haired, man-hating, feminist stereotype that you have in your mind. A lot of them want the same exact world you do. What you have to understand is society in the media is basically like her fat, ugly, drunk friend at the bar cock-blocking you from talking to her. Um, ex- We're, we're <laughs> She's fat and ugly at the bar. <laughs> How did we how did we adopt misogyny in our critique of it? First oh it wasn't a critique, never mind. She just she just rides the wave of misogyny to make content. Oh, okay, cool. So <laughs> excellent. Excuse me? She's not interested. Even though chances are she might be. According to the same study on date psychology, 77% of women aged 18 to 30 want to be approached more. So if men are lonely and women are lonely, but men are too afraid to approach women nowadays, there's only one thing we can do, ladies. Teach men not to be creepy. So there's a big difference between being approached and getting someone to send you a fucking dick pic unsolicited. Hey, baby, you want to see my hog? No, I don't want to see your pig in a blanket. There are some other videos of women saying they're happy single and they still get to have fun with your cats, but she will never watch those single choice vids. No, of course not. Yeah. Become lesbian? Dude. Uh, so, women want to be approached more and men are too scared because men, when they do approach, are fucking creeps. Hmm. Whose behavior needs to be changed? The women's? Should the women be doing it more? Let's see. We must approach them see whoa so surprised yeah ladies look i have no problem whatsoever with the ladies approaching men if you'd like to i like look who doesn't like to have reciprocity or better yet just be told flat to your face uh because uh, sometimes you're stupid but like this is <laughs> The the solution to women's loneliness is not for them to continue to take on more and more, more and more of men's emotional labor. You know what I mean? Like, I don't think there should be one way or another, like, a gendered approach to the who should talk to who first situation. But I understand the reticence 
of a woman in today's climate in not wanting to put herself in a possibly dangerous or creepy situation because she doesn't know which men are safe. Because most crime is committed by men and most most of all sexual crime is committed by men towards women. So I did a little research and looked up how to approach men as a woman. All right. <clears throat> Number one, don't. Almost every single yeah. article, blog post, tweet thread, giving advice to women on how to get a man mm. said some sh** like, don't chase him, let him chase you. Be unavailable and mysterious. Simply pretend he doesn't exist. Great. Awesome. Almost every single bit of dating advice I found amounted to let them come to us. But what if they're not coming to us? What do we do now? Well, according to the great philosophers... The research you did? You did research? And it told... and On dating advice columns? And they said, just hope that men float around? I really... I No sources or citations. No, 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 no of course not. Um, what, what should probably happen is just like every other human being that's ever had a relationship, you just like get to know somebody and then maybe that happens, you know, that's it. I, I don't, I do not understand this. Like, um, would you like to be my girlfriend? And then, yeah. And then you, your boyfriend and girlfriend for like two weeks and then you break up because you don't you're just not compatible like it's not like high school approach you mm, can, I, can i have a lock of your hair <laughs> like just talk to people meet them see what's up of our time fresh and fit and andrew tate the problem is the modern woman lazy the problem is the modern woman titled mid these are the ingredients that create the modern woman. So clearly we have to go back. Back when a cheeseburger was five cents and women were lobotomized. That's right, we must return to the 1950s. One of the most common ways to find a partner these days is by using dating apps and websites, but back in the 1950s, you had to get a little bit more creative. Here's a- Are you actually doing the, you, you've shown this particular picture a few times. Are you actually stealing the Daily Blast Lives idea? An article from 1958 in McCall's Magazine listed 129 ways for women to get a husband. Let's go. I want to read that first one. Get a dog and walk it. Have your car break down at strategic places. Attend night school. Take courses men like. Join a hiking club. Look in the census report for places with the most single men. Nevada has 125 meals, males for every 100 females. Read the obituaries to find eligible widowers. Is this a shit post? This seems funny. Take up golf and go to different golf courses. Take several short vacations at different places rather than one long one at one place. Multiple vacations? These motherfuckers took vacations? Sit on a park bench and feed the pigeons. That's where I keep my men. Take a bicycle trip through Europe. Easy. Get a job in a medical, dental, or law school. Simple. You could do you could do all of these things. Become a nurse or an airline stewardess. They have very high marriage rates. Ask your friends' husbands who the eligible men are in their offices. This list has gone viral so many times on the internet, and I have been sitting on this video has idea. It? I've never Go. seen this. Is this real? Go to the carnival. That's right. Definitely go to the carnival. That's where they keep all all the clowns. Any clowns in chat? I'm not opposed. For years. And what better time to talk about this now that all you bitches single as fuck. But don't worry, we are going uh -huh. to see if the red pill and schizophrenic Roman statue trad LARPer accounts on Twitter are correct. Did women in the 1950s have better dating advice than women today? Because Dude, I'm I'm it's so interesting to, like, ostensibly you're like, oh, okay, yeah, this sounds like something that will be against the red pillar right-wing people. But she somehow finds a way every time. Because apparently what we're doing today, crying on TikTok. I hope you have a fantastic day. Purple nickel, get one to Hank Boozle. Thank you very much. It's just not working for us. Didn't she used to date a weird, a weird Roman statue trad larper? She married one. Okay, let's just let's just dive into this. Let's let's go. All right. Number I mean, one, we'd... get a dog and walk it. Honestly, this is pretty. Oh, it's the whole thing, and she said dog. 
Very, very Eastern. Good advice. This is fine advice. If you have a dog- I didn't know she was going to read them all or else I wouldn't have read those. <sighs> Dang. Dog, you'll probably go to a dog park and meet other dog people. The thing is the I list? I can see this working. All right. Please, for the hold love on. I have an idea. I think- I think we'll speed her up. Oh god, do not become a doggo mom. The amount of times I'm walking through the city and I see a stroller and a fucking dog is in it. Just do not treat your dog like a surrogate child, please. I want to go on vacations and enjoy life. That's why I don't want kids. I have dogs anyway. Will somebody please watch Mr. Poopsie while I'm gone? He has separation anxiety. Have your car break down. Don't have dogs? At strategic places. Oh no, my- You have to have someone watch your dog. Do you not like dogs? <sighs> my dog, Poopsie. Poopsie! Will he come to that? Poopsie! He, yeah, yeah, I don't call him Poopsie. He needs a babysitter. He goes to Grandma's house, though. Don't... He didn't hear me. Okay. Yeah, he goes to Grandma's house. Brakes suddenly stopped working in front of the Bass Pro Shop. Go. Uh, the accent somehow got worse when you sped it up. Oh, no. Uh, Not right next to the tall rich man convention. <laughs> Attend a night school. Take courses men like. If you want to sign up for ancient Roman history class, be my guest. I personally would not go back to school for a man. No man is worth that. I still have nightmares about being in school. Why am I having dreams about math homework at 33 years old? Look in the census reports for- We were traumatized. <laughs> they don't teach us anything. Like, we were talking about this the other day. School is so dissimilar from real life. Why do they structure it like that? Why is school made like that? It doesn't have to be that way. It could be, it could be like- I don't know, a normal schedule? It could be better. <laughs> Instead, they, they sit us in these weird classes and to train you for the work day. But my work day has never been like a school day, ever once. Maybe if you live in a cubicle situation or work in a cubicle Places situation. with the most single men. Nevada has 125 females for every 100 females. That's Ladies, if you want to meet a man, simply hang out in the shoe on head fan base. The ratio of men and women here is insane. We got all types of men here. We got the furries, we got the weebs, the libertarians, the conservatives, the liberals, the Marxists, the anarchists, the agitators, the looters, and people who in many instances have absolutely no clue what they are doing. Read the- Haha. <laughs> Love using uh, Donald Trump in my funny ha-has. Obituaries to find eligible widowers. What the f on ironic Trump, yeah. Going up to a funeral like, hey, sorry about your wife. What'd that dick do though? So I'm actually getting these from an article written in 2018 about the advice from the 1950s. Are you gonna read them all? I see 33 and 34. Wow, you're actually gonna go through your favorites? Okay, fuck yeah. And the journalist, Bella- Moving, college, vacation, why do all these cost so much money? Yeah, and you have to pick one. So if you if you become like a doctor, I mean, that's pretty much just you decided that now. DiPaolo is constantly writing her own commentary after like almost every single one of these things. Like, look, ready? This one is like, get a job in a medical, dental, or law school. And she writes, become a doctor, dentist, or lawyer. You are a badass, so you don't need to marry one. And the next advice from the 50s is, become a nurse or airline stewardess. They have very high marriage rates. And uh -huh. she's like, no, become a person who thinks for herself. They have very high rates of living the life that works for them. So become a doctor, yeah. dentist, or lawyer is good advice because strong, independent woman jobs or something. But become a nurse or airline stewardess is bad advice because why exactly? Why exactly? It it was because, okay you <laughs> don't be a nurse or an airline stewardess specifically to find a husband was the critique why is she so dumb why it <laughs> i feel like i'm i'm saying it doesn't have to be like this a lot it doesn't have to be like this you just gotta read the words people are saying. Exactly. Like, I'm sorry, is that not a little sexist? Why is she looking down on being a nurse or an airline worker? She's the advice not. some women give to other women is, like, incredible. It's always just, like, constant affirmation, constant coddling, constant, like, you're doing nothing wrong, sweetie. And then male advice is, like, your whole family's gonna die if you don't go to the gym right now. <laughs> be nice to everybody. They may have an eligible brother or son. You shouldn't only be being nice to people in order to possibly get laid. Just be nice to everyone in general. Being nice is, like, the bare minimum. And what's sad is some people can't even do that. The bar is in hell. And yet, get a government job overseas. Okay, I'm sorry. No man is worth becoming a fed. Do not become a federal agent for some dick. Be friendly. <laughs> Finally. Finally, I agree. But does she? Does she even agree with herself? To ugly men. Again, just be nice to everyone in general. Lowering your standards if they're very high or unrealistic is a good thing. But don't lower them too much. If you're not attracted to someone, you should not be dating them. And don't get with the first person who's nice to you or shows you attention just because you're lonely. The amount of men and women who, like, jump into relationships just because they're sad and lonely is way too high. I agree! I actually agree with that. That's true. Sometimes people have this, like, validation thing going on. 
where they're like, ooh, I got validation. That feels good. And then it's just like, well, now I'm, that's that's the thing I'm on. Uh, <clears throat> that is being nice is bullshit. Be kind. True. There is a difference between being nice and being kind. Being nice is is a choice. Being kind is real. That's just who you are. It's almost always a recipe for disaster. Don't date someone who you think is ugly, but like, if he's not over six feet or doesn't have the perfect body, like, yeah, give him a chance. You're not perfect either, girl. But if you think he's straight up ugly, different story. So yes, be nice to everyone, including ugly people, but don't date someone you think is ugly. Tell uh, I tend to agree with that too, but I don't think most people are ugly. There's definitely, there's definitely people I'm not attracted to. Ugly is like something you have to earn, in my opinion, typically. Like, although it's a man, so yeah, I feel like I feel like ugly is something that you you become as you become more evil. Tell your friends that you are interested in getting married. Don't keep it a secret. Oh, we have another author's note. Tell your friends you have no interest whatsoever in getting married. Don't keep it a secret. Tell your mother. Tell all your other relatives. Tell all the random people you meet on the street. Declare it on social media. <laughs> She's very anti-marriage. She's not going to like that at all. Bro, this is why we are here now, by the way. People like this in 2018 telling young women to not even try and just be a strong, independent girl boss. These are the fat, ugly, drunk friend at the bar cock-blocking you. Dude, why are you so, like... Is that a personal reference experience or something? Like, are you just pissed off at somebody? Be nice to everyone, she said. Uh, is she married? Yeah, she got married to a uh, Catholic man. Get lost at football games. All right, if I'm at a football game, I'm already lost. Don't take a job in a company run largely by women. You would never hear this in modern dating advice. This is like blasphemous. I like the author's note to run a company. <laughs> Get a job demonstrating fishing tackle in a sporting goods store. See? Bass Pro Shops. I'm telling you. The last respectable institution in America. On a plane, a train, or a bus, don't sit next to a woman. Sit next to a man. <laughs> author's note. Spread out all your stuff on the seat next to you, and maybe you will get to have the whole row to yourself. <laughs> What I'm getting from the author is uh, that she's trying pretty hard to be funny. Relatable. <laughs> Holy misogyny, Batman. The contrast between the, like, wholesome... Yeah, it's it's crazy she doesn't think that these are funny. Haha -ha jokes. These are very serious critiques. Go. Sometimes... I don't get the whole fat shaming thing when the majority of America's overweight. Well, I don't know, man. Uh, she's got a thing going on goofy shit from the 1950s and this like bitter modern asocial shit is so funny go to all reunions of your high school or college class there may be widowers there what is up with this like predatory ass advice why widowers be a rebound for a man whose wife fucking died also i just realized i missed my 10 year high school reunion oh well i don't think anyone would recognize me anyway i'd have to like wear an invader zim shirt and like trip pants <sighs> i also didn't go to my high school anniversary is this good content is this man i really thought she was gonna she said female loneliness and how to fix it, and it ended up being, like, top 124 reasons from the 50s. Like, just name... Why is why is this video so misleading? Now I'm just watching her read a list. Sure, there's a lot of these. Don't be afraid to associate with more attractive girls. They may have some leftovers. What are leftovers? Sheesh. What are you doing here? What do you mean? I'm here for the scraps. Right? Don't room with a girl who is a sad sack and let her pull you down to her level. I mean, this is pretty... A lot of... Be good, like, standard advice. Don't surround yourself with negative, miserable people. Like this journalist who will just try to drag you down to her level and attempt to sabotage your dating aspirations. Learn to paint. Set up easel outside engineering school. I think all of this advice is deeply flawed. Author's note. If you like to paint, set up your easel where nobody will bother you. Spread your stuff out so nobody will sit next to you. Set your easel up where nobody will bother you. They want you to die alone. Who's they? This journalist? Who's they? What What have you? What strings are being pulled behind this journalist's opinion piece? One hundred and twenty nine content. Th like, what? Stumble when you walk into a room that he's in. Carry a hat box. What? Do we put a hat in the box? What do we put in the box? You carry it around so fellows can be like, "Hey, ma'am, what's in the box?" And then you can be like, "It's a hat box." What do you think's in the box? And then the man says, a hat. And you go, ah, ha, ha, sir. Tis empty. Much like my heart. And then that's your pickup line. There you go. We got there. Do you think her husband watches these? He fucking loves her show. He wrote half of this. What's in the box? What's in the fucking box? Wear a band-aid. People always ask what happened. Uh, no, they won't. This was absolutely written 
in the 1950s where people used to talk to each other make a lot of money. Damn, why didn't I think of that? What great advice. Don't be poor. Dropping the hank- Wearing a band-aid. That's more of a, like a, isn't that like a kawaii thing now? Not like an anime situation? Her shift still works. God, everything seems so wholesome and simple back then. Drop it. Dropping the handkerchief seems simple and wholesome in the 50s. They were lynching people, June. Simple it's and wholesome. Aww. Oh, it was so simple and wholesome. Delightful. In the 50s, weren't we bombing Koreans? Uh, Captain Conundrum, thanks again, Fonzie. She has a husband, yes. A handkerchief. That's that's all. It He's a Catholic. Took. And he makes really bad content himself. It's pretty fucking boring. Like even my mom, which she did. Her content's genuinely getting more wor more bad, more worser. It's on the decline. It feels like boomer shit. Get my dad's attention. She just like rode her bike back and forth in front of his house. Like that's so adorable and wholesome. Want to know how me and my husband met? He trolled me on Twitter. He was a hater on Twitter.com. How do I? I explain that to my future children. Yeah, I mean, that makes a lot of sense to me. Uh, that sounds like the type of person that you would be attracted to. That tracks, yeah. I mean, that's not... Yeah. <laughs> She's literally recycling boomer articles, so yeah, yeah. She fucked a troll. That's good. Yeah, sounds very healthy. Stand in a corner and cry softly. Chances are good that he'll come over to find out what's wrong. No, chances are people... <laughs> Girl, stand up. <laughs> will whip out their cell phone and start filming you and then you go viral crazy karen cries in corner buy a convertible men like to ride in them learn how to bake tasty apple pies bring one into the office and let the eligible bachelors taste it honestly this is pretty cute advice i could see this maybe working but like people are so weird about people like dating at work nowadays that used to be like the are they when's the last time you spent any time in an office june are people weird about dating and in, in at work i feel like most people meet at work <laughs> And thereabouts. Working online. My dad is dating a coworker. I mean, you're just in proximity. It's bound to happen. No, but it's uncomfortable. It can be uncomfortable if it's depending on the people, yeah. Hooking up hooking up, I guess, is more of what happens at the office, yeah. Dating at work in most workplaces. Okay, there seems to be a corporate sector and the rest of us world that people are having. So I feel like the corporate jobs are like, you guys, you really can't heavily discourage dating. Uh, and then, like, customer service jobs, I feel like they don't, they just tell you to meet your numbers. <laughs> meet your fucking numbers. Get out there the number one place people would meet their spouse and now it's like saying susan looks nice today is sexual harassment i like the author's note it is not sexual harassment to say susan looks nice today if you fucking okay so different say man susan looks nice today versus literally literally men right men am i right i can say susan looks nice today and then a man, a different man, a worse, more evil man, with his nefarious ideas, will say, Susan's looking nice today. It's just different. It's creepy, man. I feel, I don't even know who Susan is, and I'm feeling a little bad about being faking the creep right now. It's just like, it's not the, not the time, man. Not the place. I've never actually understood that. I've never, did you know millennials don't really do this? Maybe they didn't, but not around me. That sort of like cartoon men are next to each other and they they see a woman and I know it happens in real life but I did not grow up with the culture of like ooh yeah yeah girl look at you girl you're looking look at this look at the, hey well, I was seeing I was looking yesterday at this person she was looking good only if you ask like I don't even know like it would be like the topic would be like, do you think this person is attractive? I don't even know. Maybe I just forgot these experiences. I don't. <laughs> I've never, I've never had conversations like that with men. If I'm honest, why is that? That's so weird. We're very car cartoony. There's got to be pockets of the population that actually does this though, because I've seen cat calling in person, and I've seen how men actually act. Note here: learn how to bake tasty apple pies eat them don't do anything for a man ever do everything for yourself wow thanks journo you helped so much female loneliness cured La i can make pie laugh at his joke 
jokes. Laugh, laugh at his jokes if they're funny, right? At his jokes, if they are funny. Okay, but I've I've interacted with your with I'm sorry, your husband. I was gonna say boy. What? Come on, the guy's not funny. <laughs> Attractive people make the terrible mistake of assuming that they are funny because simps and simpets will laugh at any joke they say, no matter if it's funny or not. You are not funny. People just want to f you. Know that. I think I'm pretty cool. funny. By the way, today's pie day. Yeah, I accidentally made a pot pie on pie day. I didn't know. I mean, I did know, but I didn't think about it. The difference. Accidentally have your purse fly open, scattering its contents all over the street. Oh no, I dropped my monster tampon that I use for my magnum pussy. Wear high heels. <laughs> That's super funny. Most of the time. They're sexier. Journo note. <laughs> this has become my favorite thing. Wear shoes with no heels. They are way more comfortable. Or don't wear shoes at all. Yeah, you don't have to wear shoes. You can. Good. Okay, terrible advice. Wear shoes. You don't want to attract the foot guys. Trust me. I know some of them are in this comment section right now as we speak. Horrifying. But yes, heels are attractive. Heels are pretty. They make your ass look good. They make your legs look good. I don't see how this is bad advice. Unless he happens to be shorter than you are. Oof. The manlet's catching strays even back in 1958. Tell him he's handsome. Wow. Journo note, journo note, let's go! Talk to someone who is less needy and insecure. This bitch doesn't even want you complimenting men that you are interested in. Also, ladies, pro tip, if you want him to just- Uh, is she- does she like men? Sounds like she doesn't like men. Uh, when do we get the solution to female loneliness? I don't know, she's reading a list. She's just reading this list. Mmm, <laughs> get a little fresh little piggy <laughs> here. <laughs> Hell yeah. Thank you, Dr. Gamble. Little little pick me up. Little pick me up. You might have been clickbaited, Jake. I was clickbaited. This was this was look. Fresh off. This is two hours old. Just melt in your hands. Don't say he's handsome. You can do that. But next time you're like walking with him or something, wagging just be it, like wagging it, chopping that meat. You're worried about manlets being dated shoe. Might I interest you in a Minnesota special? What's that? That sounds precarious. What is that? Oh man, are you talking about? Are you talking about Dave? <laughs> oh no. Protected when I'm with you, he will be locked the fuck in. I don't see the fault in like complimenting a man or a woman that you are attracted to, that you are trying to date. Why does that make them insecure or needy? Ta I agree with you. Uh, I don't think it is insecure to compliment somebody or whatever. What I disagree with is this content. What are we doing here? Why did you say female only doesn't know how to fix it, and now, and now it's just a list of of these things, for most of the video. Take good care of your health. Men don't like girls who are ill. Get a sunburn. Go on a diet if you need to. You would never, ever see this advice today. What's? Cr you would never ever see uh, this advice today. Are you gonna fat shame more imaginary women now? Go on a diet if you need to. Yeah, you can. <laughs> Crazy is like in the early 2000s, very, very skinny was the look. Like I remember being a kid and seeing things about how like fat Britney Spears is when she looked like this. And now we've gone completely 180 where it's like health and fitness be damned, Lizzo is a queen. Liz Lizzo can look like that too. You can do both. You can do either. I don't, neither is bad. Like, can we just be, can we just be normal about this? Why is there no middle ground between like having an eating disorder and having an eating disorder? <laughs> I mean, would. I don't know why we have to worry about this. I think just let people be happy. Like, this is very different. This is very different to starving yourself. I understand that there could be complications with being heavier. It's okay to understand that there could be, like, health impacts to any sort of lifestyle, right? And I'm a big guy. I'm not, I'm, I don't think I'm, I mean, I'm not that big. You know, I'm, I got a tummy and stuff. Uh, I, you know, it's I'm bigger than a lot of people, I guess, but not the biggest. <laughs> but like, I I don't see I don't see why if someone is happy with themselves, why you think they ought to change themselves? Like, even if they're very skinny and their bones are showing and stuff, right? Some people's bodies are just different. They're just little people, they're skinny little beans, and they deserve to have blankets and big, large people like me to hold them. Right? Or like somebody else, but like, you know, to keep them warm and carry them around. Like Ellie. Because they need that. They need that from us. Not every single person that's little skins and bones has an e a full-on eating disorder. Maybe they just have, you know, not as big an appetite. They're not as food motivated as some of us. 
Uh, me, on the other hand, I have a combination of really liking to cook, uh, being a former athlete that can no longer do it, so I still have the appetite of an athlete, or I did. I was just slowly going down. Uh, and uh, the injuries of a man who can't do as much physical activity, so I have to sit on my ass a lot. Uh, so I gained weight. I don't know. It is what it is. It's just I don't care. I feel fine. I feel like I feel fine. So <laughs> I guess I guess I could stand to lose from some lbs, but it'll be a slow process. I'm not trying to do anything. It is what it is. We just we just got to be happy with ourselves, June. If you're happy with yourself, great. If you feel like you want to take t- weight off so that you can feel better or worse about yourself, I don't know. You can do that, but to tell other people what they should do with their bodies is, like, fucking weird to me. It just is so fucking weird. This is... All the phobias about other people's bodies make me fucking crazy. I don't get it. It doesn't take... I, I'm i a little on my bullshit. It doesn't take a lot to go from fat phobia to, like, transphobia, right? Because it's just about self-expression. I mean, I understand that sometimes you can have actual eating disorders. There are some people that have things and they should address them whether it's weight loss or not is one thing could just be their eating habits you know i eat nothing but what you know i drink nothing but coca-colas and fucking cheetos yeah you should probably make some changes but you could still be a big person and have vegetables every day you know what i mean (laughs) is june projecting i don't know i mean well i mean she's definitely herself had personal image issues and so yeah i mean she's projecting a little bit I don't know if she still does, but she has had some had some issues with, like, I don't know about self-harm, but, like, pulling her hair and stuff. She's talking about that before. I don't know why I don't know why you had to put that on other people. Having an eating disorder. <laughs> when you are with him, order your steak rare. Uh, absolutely not. I eat my steaks well done. Not even well done. I eat that shit. Congratulations. Don't... Uh... <sighs> We need to we need to have higher standards for everyone. That that cow died for you. Just just be vegan instead, I guess. If you're not gonna, you don't have to be have it rare or anything. Well done steak is fine, but like overcooked, come on, died for nothing. Don't tell them about your allergies. Don't be too fussy. Don't whine. Girls who whine stay on the vine. Double date with a gay happily married. Married couple. Let him see what it's like. <laughs> this has such a different meaning today. Double date with a gay couple. Let him see what it's like. Be flexible. We're not going to go over those. All right, so this is misogyny. <laughs> not even well done. I ate that shit. Congratulations. This was Don't all tell misogyny. him about your allergies. Don't be too fussy. Don't whine. Girls who whine stay on the vine. Why are we laughing? I mean, it could be a funny thing, but you didn't bring... Why are you pushing back against that, man? <laughs> This is what I mean. Like, she must know she does this right. She has a right wing audience, and then when when you know, this is just this is just regular misogyny. <laughs> you can think the little saying is funny or whatever. I don't know how you, I don't know how you don't. Yeah, I mean, obviously she's a misogynist, right? Yeah, she's internalized it, bro. Double date with a gay happily married couple. Let him. Anyway, whining, nagging, stuff like that. Uh, not really a thing. Typically, it's woman is expressing needs and is not being heard. And it won't necessarily just be men doing it, the ignoring. See what it's like. <laughs> this has such a different meaning today. Double date with a gay couple. Let him see what it's like. Be flexible. If he decides to skip the dance and go rowing on the lake, go. Even if you're wearing your best evening gown. Journal note, journal note. Tell him that's fine, but he has to wear the evening gown and the heels. Hello? Force feminize your date. 100... 100- <laughs> Yeah. 29 ways to get a boy wife. Turn wolves into husband. <laughs> I I don't She's reacting to a 6-year-old journal journalists like fucking like militant feminist thing. Like why didn't you make this content 6 years ago when it was relevant? This is so fucking weird. It's This is untimely in my opinion. You said this was timeless, but uh, Good material by assuming they have honor. Okay, I'm so fucking brain broken. I'm such a degenerate that like when I read this, I immediately thought of like Lagoshi the wolf from Beastars. Like, oh, he'd make a good husband. <laughs> oh, wait, how old is he? Hold on. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Wait, he's 17. Wait, 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 wait. Resist the urge to make him over before marriage that is so basically trap him and then mold him into your perfect mate okay i swear this advice is getting more insane the further we go the lobotomy is kicking in remain innocent but not ignorant if he's rich tell him you like his money the honesty will intrigue him (laughs) get yourself uh, a 
a little sugar daddy action. Will it? Honestly, maybe. If he doesn't mind marrying a gold digger, I guess. But if it's just like a dude looking for love and you're just like, I like your money. It's over. You fucked it up. Never let him believe your career is more important to you than marriage. Clip and mail him a funny cartoon that means something to the both of you. Uh, mail it to him. Literally the 1950s version of sending a meme. Stop being a mama's girl. Don't let him think he'll have in-law trouble. Even if you know he will. Journal note. Guess who never has in-law trouble? People who stay single. <laughs> what other articles has this woman written? Let's, let's look this up. The real sex lives of middle-aged single women. <laughs> Single women enjoy sex more and feel empowered to have as much or as little as they want. Right. I actually agree with that. I mean, I don't know if this person, this person sounds a little bit uh, like a uh, little gung ho for trying to tell other people, like, kind of, kind of also prescribing some of that. My shit is always like, hey, what would make you happy? Does a relationship make you happy? Does single, the idea of being single and no relationships or very few relationships make you happy? That's cool too. Like, a world. Did my did my sound turn down? I'll turn me up for you, okay? World without marriage, the unsung joy of living alone, the thrill of going to holiday parties alone. Why being in a long term relationship may make women more depressed. The unsung joy of living alone. Yeah, I don't understand why you're upset at this. She can definitely propose her lifestyle, though. There are more single people than ever. That's not a bad thing. That's right. The profound rewards of staying single. Yeah. I'm done. This is just sad. This is sadder than a- Why? What is sad about that to you? Why is it sad if someone is single, June? I don't get it. <laughs> what? You can be single and happy. There's no, no problems with that whatsoever. Anita Sarkeesian having a wedding themed birthday party and marrying herself. You're going to look at this and tell me there's no female loneliness epidemic? Did you make this just so that you could put Anita in this? I did not get married, but I did have a wedding themed birthday in Stockholm this summer. It was goofy and silly and fun. We had a bachelor party, rehearsal dinner, ceremony, and reception all in one. People dressed up in the best costumes from brides, divorce lawyers, drunk uncle, and a ring bearer. That sounds funny. Massive thanks to everyone who helped me. I, look, I, I don't watch any Anita Sarkeesian content, I don't care. I don't have any opinion one way or the other. Funny idea for a birthday party. That sounds fun. I've never done anything like that with my friends. I don't have uh I don't have friends that go to Stockholm with me. I don't have that kind of money. Okay. What well, you know, who cares? <laughs> cool. Really? Point out to him that the death rate of well, I don't see what's wrong with that. <laughs> you can have fun parties. I don't know. <laughs> Fun parties are fine. Single men is twice that of married men. Marry me or you'll die an early death. If your mother is fat, tell him you take after your father. If he's fat too, tell him you're adopted. It was it was a different time. <laughs> Stow away. Not really, not really that different. Sounds like she might agree. Hey, on a battleship. <laughs> Rent a billboard and post your picture and telephone number on it. <laughs> oh my god. Do not do this. Sink. So, I'm getting the vibe that these are jokes and I don't I feel like she's Oh, yeah, you also... See, yeah. <laughs> you feel like these are obviously... Yeah, right? At a fashionable it's beach gone. at high noon. Make and sell toupees. Bald men are easy catches. <laughs> Don't marry him if he has too many loose buttons. The end. So, ladies, what have we learned? Follow around your hot friends for scraps. Get a sunburn and carry around a hat box. Wow, this will surely solve female loneliness. No, but for real, some of this advice was actually much better than, like, any modern dating advice I've seen. Like, Wow. That was real... That was real dating advice. Drink your tea, June. No, she's she made the tea specifically to have for the shots. It's it's that's the show tea. It's the same cup every time with the same liquid. She hasn't changed it in three years. There's a there's a film on top. Magis, thanks so much, phone. At least some of this advice Magis? was go the f outside and talk to men, as opposed to don't talk to him. Like let him chase you. Don't even look him in the eyes. Also, men, I'm curious, which one of these would actually work on you? Would you go? <laughs> Now we're driving the fucking comment engagement? Nice. Over to a woman that was crying and asked what's wrong. Does the hat box do it for you? I'm curious. By the way, the link to the whole list- She's actually curious. In the description. I would love to see your own takes on this list, like your reactions, your own video responses to this list. I've been seeing a lot of VTubers responding to my videos lately. So if one of you anime freaks are reacting to this right now, I see you. So that was that video. I hope you enjoyed it. If not, I've stolen like what, 20 something minutes from your life that you will never get back. But if you did like it, please consider donating to my Patreon. A link. No. All right. It's over. I did not like that video. Not a fan of, of that. Maybe maybe it's like trying to drive us away from watching. 
Anyway, that has lots of views. It has 157,000 views over four hours because of the title. Female loneliness and how to fix it. And then the video is going to be none of that. Awesome. That was a... Uh, I don't know. It feels That feels like fucking maybe the clickbaitiest shit ever. Like, you could say that you're sort of on topic because you're like, oh, well, I'm doing advice. I'm reading an advice thing. It, if you would have just called it 129 ways to get a husband and then done that video, it would have been fine. Content sludge, dude. Yeah. Sniper wolf, wolf tier. She literally just read the... F- <laughs> I, she did more work than Sniper Wolf, definitely. But not a lot more. Yeah, it was bad. We did... we Yeah, we did meme review from 1958. Cool. I'm very happy we took the time. 